Hi guys, welcome to Classic Sitcoms Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe. Thank you. And uh, also, I want to apologize. Uh, I've had a frog in my throat for like the past month and a half and can't seem to get rid of it. Uh, so you'll have to bear with me, you see? Yeah, anybody got any suggestions on getting rid of the dang thing? Let me know. Today's video is on some things you may not know about Bob Denver who, of course, played Gilligan from Gilligan's Island and Dobie Gillis. Um, was on Dobie Gillis. Uh, uh, let's see if you know any of them. Okay, do you know that he was born one day after Elvis Presley? Uh, the winter of 1935 was fruitful for pop culture. On Wednesday, January the 9th, Bob Denver came into this world uh, in New Rochelle, New York. Elvis had another connection to Gilligan's Island, though. Sadly, he never showed up there. Uh, when the king gave a press conference at Fort Dix in 1960, Tina Louise, who played Ginger, was in the press corps and asked the pop idol if he would still use suggest suggestive movements. Uh, he attended Loyola Marymount University with future Dobby uh, co-star Dwayne Hickman. Uh, Denver and Hickman were acquainted well before they became Maynard and Dobie on The Many Lives of uh, Dobie Gillis. Uh, the two went to college at Loyola in L.A. and knew of each other. It is a small world. Uh, he was teaching P.E. and math when he shot the pilot for Dobie Gillis. At the age of 23, Denver was teaching phys ed, math, and history at a Catholic school in Pacific Palisades uh, when he shot the pilot for Dobie Gillis. He had also put in time as a postal worker. He left his educational gig for television when the sitcom was picked up in 1959. He was drafted during the production of Dobie, but stayed on the show thanks to his neck. After just the third episode, Denver received his draft notice. His departure was written into the show with the episode Maynard's Farewell to the Troops, and Michael J. Pollard was hired to play his replacement. Maynard's cousin, Jerome Krebs, However, Denver was labeled 4F, unfit for military service, due to a problematic neck. Thankfully, he was rehired for the series. <clears throat> now, many of you from my Andy Griffith uh, channel will know this. Uh, after Dobie and before his three-hour tour, uh, he briefly appeared in the Andy Griffith show as Dud Wash, a feller married uh, into the country darling clan. He's only seen a Divorce Mountain style as uh, it is a marketing tactic by the network to promote the face of the upcoming Gilligan's Island. Might have worked for Gilligan, didn't work for Andy. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, he hit the beach in a movie with Tina Louise before Gilligan's Island. Months before Gilligan's uh, Island hit the airwaves, him and uh, Tina Louise co-starred in the summer surf flick for those who, were, who think young. A teen comedy also featured Nancy Sinatra and Ellen Bernstein. Uh, Denver sports a beard, which sings. Jerry Van Dyke was the first choice to play Gilligan. Sherwood Schwartz initially hoped to cast Van Dyke, finding him perfect for the role. The series creator wrote in his memoir, You not only expect to see Jerry Van Dyke in a sweatshirt, you expect to see a hole in it. However, Van Dyke's agent pushed his client to take another role. Um, Gilligan's first name is Willie. Yep, for you trivia buffs. Gilligan was uh, has a first name, and it's not Gilligan. According to Schwartz, it is Willie. Last but not least, his death was repeatedly, incorrectly reported throughout his life and after. In early 1961, Bob Denver was reported dead more than 36 times in more than 30 states according to a story that year in the Salt Lake Tribune. Uh, it became a common prank to call a newspaper and ask, is it true Bob Denver is dead? The bizarre trend began to bother the Dobie Gillis star. <clears throat> At first it was spooky, he said, and it seemed like a gag. Uh, then it kept up. It made me somewhat angry. In September of 2012, Twitter again blew up with the news of uh, Denver's death, seven years after his passing. Uh, leave it to Twitter, right? Um, I like the Elvis thing. Uh, and the picture that I put up there uh, when I was talking about it, 
that is Elvis with Tina Louise in that picture. So enjoy that. I thought that was really cool. But I'm an Elvis fan. I'm a huge Elvis fan. So and a Gilligan fan. So it was really cool for me. Oh, it was cool for you. Uh, that's all I got for you. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, please share these out on your Facebook page. Uh, have a great day. God bless you, and I'll be praying for you.